Come and know it. Are you on Lantern? I told one another upon Catane, the total can be seen, you begin another on the Girak. You can our Catane Yagi, the road on the Girak, you on Wax, Akana Pona, you begin Gamel Roya, and Taye Kanarok. Ariki, you begin the Yakarak Sans, my Yausu. Tawana may walk on Wax in the Yakai, when the Kawakin and Tamo. Yai wuwa iteran tiang rei rei yon temua e wa kina ki ilan tavei kai. Tuana pakai kawan temua ibu kini izukona. Ataka wuwa kawan kini temua ibu kini pun nemuana. My name is uh, Mr. Rowama Matakanda. I'm looking after the farm over here in uh, Nandave. And I've got only two staff who are my two farm hands, Mr. Inia and uh, Mr. Willy. Those are the two that we are working together to run the farm for the benefit of these uh, 60 students who will be in Nandavi for the period of nine months in every year and also the provision of uh, vegetables and root crops plus the meat production for our kitchen supply. The history about this uh, center, uh, way back in 1985 it has been started in Suva. Uh, just the uh, I thought for setting up development uh, for Fijians and Rotumans. The move was uh, initiated by the Methodist Church of Fiji for this center to be set up. The building here at the back is especially meant for the broiler section or the midbird. And normally it has been uh, raised for six weeks before slaughtering. So you can see the building, the size of the building at, at, uh, at present, right at the back, it's about 20 meters by uh, 3 to 5 meters. The ratio at the moment, we are keeping right up, up to the maximum that we have met is uh, 500 day old chick. And the feed that they, uh, they normally been f uh, fed, we started off with a starter, the broiler starter, that it will be carrying on for two weeks, so we can drag it up to three weeks. Then we change the feed to uh, broiler grow or the grow crumble. From that time, of time, you can take it for another two weeks before we put on, uh, feed them with a finisher. The finisher will be going on for three or two weeks before sorting. That is how the, how the yellow operation has been carrying out in Nandabe, uh, in this poultry server, the midbird. Uh, Feed up with the, uh, the drinking uh, troughs and the food troughs every morning. Check again at 12 o'clock. Then uh, before knocking off at 4, they'll have to check up the drinkers and the feed trough before knocking off. So the average weight that we're having in Nandavi after slaughtering is uh, 2 kg. While valuing our birds after slaughtering, we should put it at grade B because uh, we haven't reached the standard required for slaughtering, especially for taking out the feathers and the respiration of pulling out the lungs and also internal organs, we haven't reached us that standard. So it's just like uh, what we normally did in our backyard or back at home. So the value that we normally put uh, while valuing our meat bird after slaughtering is just uh, it's $7.16 per kilo. That is where we based our production value after slaughtering. So normally we managed to save our center of buying chicken from crest, which is nearly thousand plus dollars. This, uh, this area is uh, what we call the Buddha. This is where the day old chicken has been kept before we increase in the space when they are uh, getting bigger. This is the setup that will be made when they brought in as a day old chick. This is their heater. Just like uh, the mother hen or the, the hen, when they bring in flocking in their chicks, the warm that they need or the heat that they need by the day old chick, this is what it represents. So they've been kept with all everything, everything inside, the, the heater there to keep them warm. And this is the feed chupa where we put one with the feed up with it's a broiler starter. And this is the drinker. We will fill in with the water for the day old chick to have water from. So all the things that they need, which represents the mum or the hen, to give them, it's all in, uh, in one place. You can see that uh, you have some uh, wood saving on the, fl the flooring of this uh, poultry shed. 
the purpose of having uh, the wood shaving is to make the place comfortable. We have to put down the wood shaving. On top of that, then we cover it up with a new spray. The first day that we have to set up the brooding place with the wood shaving, cover it up all over the floor that uh, you have been uh, identified for the for your chicks to be uh, put through. Then you cover it with a new spray. On top of the wind spray, once you go. Once you unload all your day old chick on uh, the brooding place, then you throw the, 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 the broiler starter on top of the wood. This is the time that you train your day old chick to start feeding. Once they start off then, then after two days or three days, then you introduce your feed tuber. From that time, until you introduce the food tuber, they know that that is the feed that they will be fed for the, uh, the period that they will be staying on the, the first two weeks or the three weeks. This is our, our layer shed. When I talk about layer, I think uh, we understand that uh, just for the chicken uh, that produce eggs. You can see that uh, we have the, the netting for keeping up the eggs after the chickens have been uh, laying eggs. And this is the feed trough where the feed have been uh, placed. And over here, this is the drinker. So the the, the layers have access to all the needs that they want while going on for their cycle of maybe 18 months to 19 months. So the feed from here, here in the front, the water, we have a water trough at the back and underneath the sole purpose of having this is to keep the eggs from, from uh, falling down on the ground and uh, being cracked. Then the droppings going underneath. So every two weeks or seven or uh, ten days we normally remove this and uh, put it into a manure set or even we can, uh, the students can take it straight to their vegetable pots for while preparing the, uh, the vegetable pots. So the, uh, the breed that we have over here is the brown highline. This is the normal uh, the breed that uh, we have in Fiji that we have in Ndave to produce eggs. The normal uh, production that we have at the moment is 14 trees. 14 trays, so one tray constitutes, uh, con contains about 30 eggs, uh, 14 trays per day. Uh, the feed, for these uh, three rows, you can see one, two, three. The feed we normally, our stockmen normally feed with three bags, three 25 kg layer mess per day. That is enough for them before serving the, the next meal by the next morning. The, the things that we normally get from the layer shed first is egg which is uh, a contribute from the farm to our kitchen especially for the meals for our students uh, for our trainees and also the poultry manure for our, uh, organic manure to our vegetable pots and uh, other crops also when they are having their maximum uh, maximum age that is normally we put it up to 19 months that is where we start slaughtering and uh, given for be given for our kitchen supply and you can see the difference for those who have reached that 19 months and uh, the new ones or the young ones the young ones uh, i think they've been brought in this one uh, this stock has been brought in in, uh, in february this year so they still have feathers on their neck the old ones are the ones that have been uh, having their feathers, been skinned off. Uh, what are the experience they've been uh, going through by our uh, two farmers that uh, the best time is for collecting eggs is 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that is the time that uh, most of the hens, or the, the layers, have been, uh, have been laying eggs. And also by 8 o'clock, once they arrive in the morning, they start feeding. Which I've already mentioned earlier. Three bags, three 25 kg bags of lemmings per day. And that is uh, enough for these uh, 450 layers. So the collection, after collecting the eggs, then they're doing the shopping out. Uh, the correct ones will be put into one uh, tray, while uh, the eggs have been uh, identified into two, two sizes. That is the large and the small. Before bringing it up to our administration center, for those uh, ladies up there in our admin to sell it.
We have to set up a compost. You can uh, whatever livestock uh, waste that you have. Uh, even for us, uh, I think uh, it's better to use the poultry manure, which is uh, readily available. Put it as your footing, then try to get some uh, green grass, cut it into pieces on top of it, uh, the poultry manure. Then from there, then you to uh, spray it with water before you putting up all your food uh, refuse or waste that uh, you have from your kitchen. Uh, then you have to check every two or three days and continue watering and after that then you start turning them around or getting up from the, the bottom uh, uh, ways to come up to the top so that they can remove uh, the top one down to the bottom. From there maybe it will go as far as uh, uh, two to three, uh, three to four months before we'll have to uh, start pegging it when you have a, a crumble of uh, manure coming out from your compost and uh, it will be readily available for your whatever crops that you are planting especially vegetables it will be easily used instead of uh, buying a, a very expensive um, agro-input or manure uh, from shops or supermarkets.